Hello my YouTube family, it's your girl Rejoice back with a video. Y'all know I love to do the recaps and also advice to the incoming class at Tuskegee. Surprisingly, your girl getting on up there. I'll be a senior in the fall, a graduating senior in the fall, so I'm super excited. Uh, to embark on my last year at Tuskegee kind of sad time definitely goes by fast I know a lot of people were saying that high school goes by fast but college definitely goes by extremely fast especially with the circumstances that we're in with COVID-19 I'm super excited to tell y'all about my junior year it definitely I think this will be also with my next year's video will probably be the longest video being that junior year was has a lot of stories to tell so I'm excited to tell y'all what happened junior year and also give advice to TU25 the incoming class at Tuskegee University and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let's start off. Y'all know in the last video we came home early due to COVID. That was like March 2020. So I came home March 2020. I had from March up until August I was at home. So I was working. I was working at Walmart. Uh, had my 20th birthday uh, pretty much there's nothing really to tell about that time because I literally was just working at Walmart and I was at home it was definitely the peak of COVID like when COVID really was at its heights uh, when the pandemic really started so not really much to tell about that but in August I came back to school a lot of people were not back at school my sister didn't end up going to school because of her uh, school at Howard they Howard wasn't residential housing so of course Tuskegee let us stay on campus um, I ended up being in an apartment now y'all this is my first year in an apartment and this is when I feel like my life just elevated I don't really like staying in dorms of course I got that college experience with dorm but I feel like at the age I was at being that I was just wanting to cook more I was trying to eat healthier really changed my whole lifestyle so being able to have an apartment and have a kitchen to myself a bigger shower bigger bathroom all that I think that changed the game for me really in August and going back to school I was just happy that we could be in that environment I think being at home for so long kind of you know shook the table a little bit and we were missing out on things you know missing out on college we missed that two months that we would have been in school missing SGA week stuff like that and if you're coming to Skiggy you'll realize what SGA week is but it's just something we do in the spring like a little spring homecoming uh, with artists that come in and we just have fun activities on campus I was excited to be back in August and October I crossed the best sorority in the land Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated yes ma'am yes ma'am across the Gamma chapter at Tuskegee University I was so elated to gain 34 amazing intelligent crazy line sisters I'm so grateful for them so shout out to my 34 line sisters my aunt was a Delta and I really wanted to my dad's sister she went to Tuskegee and I really wanted to join a sorority um if you didn't know sororities black sororities originated on campus of Howard University obviously black sororities were paid because black people could not join or attend black or white schools where they could even join white sorority I really enjoyed my line sisters i enjoy being a part of the sorority i really enjoy being a part of greek life at tuskegee university i am just blessed that i was able to be a part of such a great experience while in undergrad after i cross things went really really fast because they are shortening the semester so when we got to school in august we got out like before Thanksgiving and we've never done that before like that's never happened but of course due to COVID they want to make sure people are not traveling a lot so after I crossed in October things just started really speeding up and then classes pretty much uh, ended. Talking academics my junior year class were kind of did not come to play as y'all know I'm a political science major so I'm on a pre-law track to go to law school junior year I, I my grades are increasing like I'm not doing bad or, or anything at all but I can definitely tell I definitely had to put my my first foot forward and I had to put in work this year so I really got a lot of my uh I would say my harder classes my junior year. and they say that junior junior year of college is your hardest year so to say of uh, because you're you know it's that middle year just like junior year of high school I can just tell that like I was getting into my career classes Tuskegee is a great institution especially academic wise I can't speak about enough how you know you get that stigma and I, I will always talk about this in my videos of how HBCUs are not e uh, equal to PWIs but we all know that's not true and HBCU education gets you as far as to the White House as we've seen 
the news lately uh, elected as the vice president of the United States of America. That's just one of many instances where HBCU educations can take you to any type of career that you would like. My junior year really taught me that like I really was getting into classes like black politics, just really like core classes that were teaching me constitutional law. I was taking classes that really were helping me with my degree and I knew that when I was getting it not just from to get the academic requirement but I was also getting the black perspective and that's why I'm so happy that I attended HBCU because I not only get that education but also the black perspective as well. So on a personal level coming back in January well we actually y'all that's the gag we came back in February. Um, I don't know if I've announced this on my channel but my little sister is a freshman at Howard and now currently she will be a rising sophomore in, in the fall at Howard. So my sister was starting back school virtually in January but I did not start back school until February 7th I believe of 2021. So we had a break from November to February which I personally from Thanksgiving to February I thought it was extremely too long. I was ready to go back to school because when you out of school that long, like three or four months, you just start forgetting stuff at that point. You're just like, okay, can we go on back? Like, we got to get things back rolling and shaking. Plus, you miss your friends, miss being on campus, campus life, et cetera, et cetera. January, when I was at home, I really wanted to start kicking off my fitness journey. I've always been interested in fitness and taking care of my body and uh, being my best self. I really wanted to kick off 2021 since being this is my 21st uh, year that I turned 21 I really want to kick things up a notch I got a trainer her name is Heather here in Atlanta from December up until January until I left for school and you guys she really gave me the game on weight training and of course I think a lot of people are really getting a uh, hip on weight training and its benefits with a caloric deficit meaning that you're eating below um, how much you're burning in a day Oh, I can definitely make a, another fitness video on my fitness journey itself but just going to talk about a little bit y'all it changed the game for me so I was making my breakfast in the morning I was going to gym I would get up go to the gym in the mornings weight train uh, incorporate my cardio I was tracking my calories eating good eating healthy meal prepping and y'all I lost 25 pounds in three months I was just so happy y'all and I was just it wasn't even just the number of the weight I was just seeing so many different changes in my body I've never seen before and that was just due to weight training I have heard news this is just between me and you. Tuskegee's uh, building a new fitness center on campus, which I feel like is well needed because I, when I was, you know, in my fitness journey, I do have a gym membership in Auburn to go to the gym, but it definitely is an amenity to have a um, fitness center on campus. We also do have a track where most people go down there and run on some days or walk. Um, and of course, Tuskegee itself, the campus, will give you a good uh, bang for your buck when it comes to that exercise because you will be walking um, a good little bit, those hills and everything like that. But yes, I do go to the gym in Auburn, which is the neighboring city, which you guys know if you want to come to Tuskegee, you will definitely be familiar with um, the Auburn area. I'm super excited for what Tuskegee has to bring in these new coming years to the new students that are coming which would be UT25. I am a pre-law political science major. I am planning to attend law school in the near future. So of course to attend law school, you have to take an admissions test. So I am currently studying for the law school admissions test, which I have been studying for for a few months now. My second semester, this past semester that just ended with went really well for me. I was really focused, like I said, with my weight loss. I ended up losing weight. Um, my grades were immaculate, I only had one B. Um, I was just super excited about my progress. And now this summer, I am currently studying for the LSAT. So you guys keep me in your prayers, keep me well wishes for this test. And also um, I am interning with the CDC. I'm super excited of the, in, the opportunities that Tuskegee has given me because I definitely feel like I would have not been interning with the CDC if it wasn't for Tuskegee. Just the help of our departments, your advisors, the emails they send you, it's just it's no place like Tuskegee. The connections that we have, the resources that we have, um, it's no place like it. And it's just like I said, I just rave all day about attending an HBCU because they want you to win. If you want to go somewhere where the people, the advisors, the professors, the janitors, everybody wants you to win. So they're going to give those those opportunities out. So just advice when it comes to academics, go out for these resources that Tuskegee gives you. Re look at check your email. You know, I had an internship. I've had an internship every summer since I've been in high in college. 
I had an internship my freshman year summer. I had a pre-law scholars program internship. My sophomore year summer, I had an internship offer, but I could not uh, attend it due to COVID-19. My junior year summer, which is now I'm working with the CDC, and I'm just super elated and excited for what's to come. And I just cannot say that I would not be able to do any of this without Tuskegee. So to TU25, I want you to, so you guys check your emails, attend the career fair, attend any anything that you feel like is an opportunity, go after it. That's what I, I the one thing I can say I don't regret and I'm proud of myself in my college experience is that even if I failed for during something, running for a position or doing anything, I did it. You know, I say I can say I did. And of course, we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God, period. Romans 8, 2, 8. But just saying, you know, things will fall in a line. So don't be afraid to go after things. And I feel like that's how I'm, a, you know, really growing and achieving in my undergraduate career because I'm not, I'm afraid to fail. But I think as a, I, my freshman year self is different now from who I am now going into a rising senior because I know that failure leads to a different direction. Rejection is just redirection. You know, delay not denied. So just a, a few tips for TU25. I am and will be a third year NSO leader. NSO leaders are new student orientation leaders, being that when you come on campus, I will be there to greet you, to be your mother, <laughs> to be your mother. I will be there to be your student guide for anything you need help with for that week and also if you're in my group or even if you just meet me during the student orientation week I'll be able there to help you I'll give you my phone number anything you need help just call me hit me up if you have any questions about Tuskegee directly please uh, do not hesitate to DM me on Instagram leave a comment below I will definitely get to everybody's comments if you have a question about a dorm or anything a specific major I can get you in touch with any of my friends I really want you guys to be comfortable because Tuskegee is a great experience I would just say make connections make friends do not be afraid to lose you're going to be where you need to be so do not be afraid of that college is such a great experience like I'm getting emotional because it's like not me about to be a big senior big senior not the little one get vaccinated still keep your distance your TU distance you'll learn that T25 when you get on campus I'm so happy to be filming have a good one see you later